What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk about something that is really kind of annoying for some and it is that dreaded seatbelt chime. If you guys want to get that light off and that chime, make sure to watch this video and see if you can get your Super Duty to not chime at you. All right, let's go. Welcome back. This is, you guys hear it, uh, a video that I've been thinking about making. Um, I just recently found out um, how to do this without a scan tool, you annoying red light. Um, on this 20 Super Duty Tremor, uh, one of my subs from Ohio, Mark, was uh, able to come up here. I do a little bit of warranty work and he wanted this to be taken care of. It's something that's real easy to do. You do not need a scan tool. All you're gonna need is get in your truck and grab your ignition key. Okay, so the sequence of events you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to one, apply the parking brake, and you're gonna need to turn the key on, but first, before you do that, I'm going to get the seat belt ready because I'm going to need this. I'm not going to put it on. I'm just going to put it over my shoulder so it's ready to go. Turn your key on. You're going to see the seatbelt light stay on. Okay. And once the light goes off, you're going to take your seatbelt and you're going to click it, unclick it, click it, unclick it, click it, unclick it. The light is on. Click it one more time and unclick it and the seatbelt warning indicator is now flashing, indicating to you that it has successfully programmed the seatbelt light to not come on or ding. Okay, once you're done, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the key off. I'm gonna release my parking brake and I'm gonna start it up and drive with no seatbelt on. You can see the warning indicator on the warning indicator is going to prove out and we are just going to drive normally like we would if we had our seatbelt on. Except this time we are not going to get that notification to put our seatbelt on. I don't know if anybody uh, is aware of this um, procedure. I was told by a fellow tech that it's actually in the owner's manual in F-150s, but I had a subscriber actually reach out to me and tell me the procedure for the Super Duties. You can see we're already driving way farther than we had before, and the warning indicator has not come on. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below if anybody's had to do this exact thing on their Super Duty and if you guys were successful in turning the light off. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll see you guys all next time here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching.